Hey folks, this is Alex Thiel. I'm Chief Software Architect and co-founder here at Urban Machine. We are building robots and automation to reclaim lumber. That basically means removing all of the metal from dimensional lumber so that it can be milled, processed, and put back into buildings. Basically, how do we treat all of the wood that comes out of old buildings as Lego bricks that you can use to build new buildings? And in this video, I'm gonna show off um, the whole process in a condensed form. I'm going to show you the robots. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them um, and get into the high level. Then in following videos, I'll get into the nitty gritty software and how it all works and uh, the more nerdy details. So enjoy. I'm going to begin a tour of our facility here. So this is the entry to the tent. Uh, we usually have a bunk of wood here that we can grab some piece of wood and roll it onto this infeed area. A pre-working can involve maybe you need to cut the end of the wood off because it's uh, split or you have you know just a, a ton of nails near the ends. Uh, you might need to remove a bolt or two, something that the machine can't handle. Uh, this piece of wood is pretty representative of something that doesn't need any rework. There's lots of these fasteners here on the sides. These are all robot removable. You might have a few fasteners here at the top. When you're ready to go, you go here and you just press start cutting wood. So the very first part of our process is called the cutter. There's three parts of the process, cutting, cooking, and picking. I'm gonna show you all three of them today. It's gonna to take a few seconds. So the wood enters, this gets fed automatically through this conveyor, and um, there's two band saws here that are about to close in on the wood. Boom, oh, there you go. So you can see the band saws are now cutting flush to the front of the wood, all of the fasteners. So we're basically turning the wood from a porcupine that has lots of fasteners on both sides to a flat plane where all the fasteners are little metal dots. That has a lot of benefits. It actually helps us not just um, for picking the fasteners, but to have simpler camera systems, vision systems. Uh, the movement of lumber gets easier when you have two flat sides as opposed to sides of wood with lots and lots of lumber, uh, lots and lots of nails sticking out. So that's actually a, a simple part of our process, but it makes the rest of the processes much easier. You can see that it cut all the fasteners here flush to the surface. On the cases where you have fasteners on both sides, you would just run it on the other side, uh, run the wood on its side, and it would get all the fasteners. So moving on, this next machine here is called the cooker. And the cooker has a special job. Um, what the cooker does is it makes the nails easier to pull downstream. So you just feed it in here, these clamps close in, and it will start moving the wood in on itself. Now what goes on here is we have two cameras that are scanning using machine learning to find all the fasteners in the system. Then as the wood moves forward, we target those fasteners using high powered induction coils. So let's get a better view of that. What we have here is an XY gantry. We have two, one on the left side and one on the right side. And what it's doing is it's cooking the fasteners with just tons and tons of induction power. Um, it takes about four seconds per fastener and that burns the wood about one millimeter around the metal. Um, the beauty of this process is it can drop the amount of required force to pull a fastener out from about 500 pounds down to 20. Now, we wouldn't just build a robot to reduce the amount of force to pull fasteners. The real magic is this machine makes screws pullable like they were nails. Before we had this machine, we basically couldn't handle screws because if you pull on a screw, it would rather break and leave metal inside of the lumber than uh, pull out. But now that we cook them, all of the fasteners come out as if they're nails and they come out with very low forces. It makes the quality of the wood much better. Uh, you can see there's uh, some some smoke coming out there as, uh, as the induction coils do their work. And as we come out in the outfeed here, we see that it's, uh, you know, really nicely cooked 
uh, these, these, you know, what used to be shiny nails are now these dark spots. Um, and as it goes through this process, it's basically the nails coming out of here are coming out at about 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, they cool down very quickly. The damage to the wood is minimal. So overall, it's, it's a great process. It makes the picking much easier. And while this is running, I'm actually gonna show you real quick a little bit about the data analytics on here. So this is the main dashboard. You can control the robot from here. You can you know, get an idea of uh, the status of all the components. Um, but we also have these analytics. And the analytics page basically shows you, you know, you know how, how busy has the robot been. Today has been kind of a quiet day. Uh, what's the projected throughput of the robot? So one kilometer of wood uh, is what we're expected to run today. Some breakdown of the dimensions of the wood, uh, fasteners, you know, um, how many fasteners have we seen cooked? So we've got all this stuff tracked for every robot. Okay, so this came out of the cooker. Let's run it through the picker. This is by far our most complicated machine. You can see as I feed this in, it immediately starts closing. And there's this complicated clamping mechanism that gives us a lot of control authority over the wood. Similar to the cooker, it's using cameras to detect all the nails. But uh, unlike the cooker, there's actually another pair of cameras on the gantries where once we see a fastener, we can close in, do another look uh, to get a you know millimeter precision uh, reading as to where that fastener is. And then we go in with these gantries. And after every pick, we actually check, hey, did that pick, was that successful? How, how did that pick go? Do I have to try again? And when we try again, we actually do, uh, we do slight changes. So for example, we might push in with a little bit more torque if we suspect that the wood is uh, harder than the, the wood we've been running previously. We might adjust the position of the pick a little bit uh, based on the feedback from the last pick. So we'll just do a little time lapse here. Awesome, so that just finished processing that whole plank. And we can come around the side here and take a look at how it did. So you can see all the little bite marks uh, with the, the holes left over from where the nails used to be. So this is, this is very typical um, patterns here. Uh, looks like it got all of them. So uh, what we would do is we would just run this through one more time to get these, or we might just pull these out by hand. And then the next step here is we have this giant metal detector. This thing is awesome. It's uh, actually capable of being sensitive enough to detect iron fillings in cereal. So you really can guarantee there's no metal in this lumber. Uh, and you would just run it through. It's gonna beep because of that metal there, but you would basically run it through this. And, um, and if it doesn't stop at any point, um, you know you don't have any metal. And so it'll actually stop as soon as uh, those nails are detected. And there you go. Basically, this means that no wood gets to the other side unless it's fastener free. And this is our outfeed. So that's the process. This is all clean, green lit, metal free lumber. We have tons and tons of racks here as we, we sort out the lumber and we grade it and we decide, you know, what's good, what's not. That's the high level. And uh, for now, the next video, I'm gonna show all the software side and all the cool nitty gritty um, stuff that we're doing on there. So thank you so much for watching.